good morning everybody and welcome back to our channel I've drained the bathtub and no i did not take a bubble bath this morning aiden was in the bathtub i got woken up by a visitor this morning and it was aiden he was going to the bathroom and I thought, oh, he's just getting up and go to the bathroom, you know, morning, whatever. Well, then I heard him, like, make a noise. And then I was like, Aiden, you okay? He goes, no, I'm not okay. And I said, oh, no. So I ran in there, and he's, like, bent over double on the floor, saying his head's pounding. He wasn't feeling good, and he thought he was going to throw up. And when I touched him, he wasn't burning up. Burning up. So I ran downstairs, and I got the thermometer and grabbed him something to drink, although I probably knew that was the wrong thing to do if he was gonna be sick, and got some Tylenol and stuff, and came back upstairs, and I took his temperature, and it got to 101.4, and I was taking it orally, and it got to 101.4, and he pushed my hand away and just started throwing up. So honestly, I'm not sure what his temperature is. I will say I think it's probably around 100, 101.5, because right as he got ready to get sick, um, it has slowed down. It was going up really fast, and then at the end it was like 101.2, then it weighed 101.3. I could tell it was slowing down. So I'm pretty sure around 101.5, 101.6 is probably his temperature, I'm guessing. And I don't want to take it right now because it's just been a whirlwind. I'm just trying to let Tylenol get settled in the system, and the more I mess around, he might end up getting sick again. So I uh, gave him Tylenol. He did keep that down. He did get sick. He did throw up. He threw up, and then after that, I said, try to get this Tylenol in, and I'm not gonna let you drink anything. I don't want you to do anything. Just kind of rest. He took the Tylenol, and then about 15 minutes later, after he held that down, I put him in the bathtub, um, in like a lukewarm bath, and he just sat in there and for about 15 minutes, and of course, the whole time, he's like, can I get out, can I get out? But I was like, 15 minutes, just give me 15 minutes. So did that, he got out, he's still burning up with a fever. His cheeks are so red, and he's so hot. And I said, well, go lay down and just rest. So he's in there in his room with a washcloth, trash can beside of his bed, and he's actually resting. Um, as of right now, he's kept the Tylenol down for almost an hour. And that was my goal, because a lot of times when Aiden takes Tylenol, it instantly makes him throw up. He kept it down. He might get sick again. I'm not saying that was the only time he'll get sick today. I'm hoping it is. Um, but he's kept it down an hour. So... I'm trying to decide if he's still running a really, what I consider, high fever. If he's still got a fever um, and it's not coming down by 11, I'm going to give him Motrin. And then I'm going to start alternating those back and forth, back and forth, until I can get this fever broke. But as of right now, um, he's just, like I said, resting and just taking it easy. And I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping he doesn't get sick again. I'm hoping he can get some fluids in a minute and be good but it looks like he's sleeping every time i've gone in there and peeked at him he looks like he's sleeping but he could just be resting but i don't even want to talk to him because you know the more you agitate somebody when they're sick the worse it makes them feel so i'm just gonna let him rest and just take the morning just to lay in bed do nothing and um yeah we'll check on him in a minute and if he doesn't get any worse there'll be no need to go to the doctor if he gets worse then i guess we're off to the doctor but anyway welcome to our vlog i'm gonna get a few things done around the house um just while i'm waiting these next couple hours out just to see how he's feeling and uh yeah that's the day so far how it's going guys I'm heading out the house I went to go get Aiden um, some Motrin and unfortunately I didn't have any I have so much Tylenol up there and no Motrin and normally I have at least one bottle of it up there because he's not really like into like he doesn't mind the chewables but he kind of likes liquid better but I feel like sometimes I think the chewables be easier but whatever um, but I have like so much Tylenol and no, no Benadryl, not Benadryl, and no ibuprofen. So I'm going to go grab some of that because, um, it is, I, 
time to give him the ibuprofen. That's why I went downstairs to get it and I didn't have any. And I'm gonna go get him some. He's still sleeping. He's been wiggling around. His cheeks are so red. And I put my hand on him and he's still burning up with a fever. So I've got to go get this medicine. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go grab that, come back, give him that. Hopefully he can keep it down. And um, hang on, there's Briley. I'm gonna run to the store and I'll be back. He's still burning up. Aiden, I don't mean to bother you, but can you take this Motrin for me? I went and got you some from the store. Can you take it? And then you can go right back to sleep, okay? And I want to take your temperature. I'm gonna take it on your temple and just see what it is. But this thing's not accurate. See, that's not being accurate. You got a little bit left in this cap. Lay back. Try to get the rest of that. Okay, I'm gonna waste it. Can I try taking your temperature this way again? If you want to hold it, you hold it. Just put it under your tongue, okay? And when it beeps, let me know and I'll come back in here and check it. Put it under your tongue. Towards the back. Towards the back. Mm -hmm. And just hold it right there, okay? Keep your mouth closed and I'll come back and check. Just when you hear it beep, let me know. What does it say? 100. 100? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. It's coming down. Okay, good. All right, so just lay down and rest, okay? And hopefully we can keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Briley. The day's not going her way. The day's not going Aiden's way. How's your day, Liza? Loving so it. She's loving it because today ain't going her way either because she's supposed to be at our house. But can't be now because I can't go get her because Aiden's sick. And Kayla's chicken this morning, she went to go open it to like put it in her stuff and it was already open. And juice was everywhere. So she's had a great morning. Charlotte, how's your morning? Or your day? Is it going good? I think Charlotte might be the only one out of everybody that's having an actual decent day. Briley, why are you having a bad day? You want to talk about it? No. Okay. <laughs> We're not laughing at Briley, I promise. It's just you have to understand. Okay, really Liza is still it. laughing at Briley. We're not really laughing at her. We're kind of, I don't know. I wouldn't say laughing with her because she I'm ain't laughing. laughing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Y'all aren't laughing with nothing because I'm not laughing. <laughs> I love you, Bri. Love you too. I'm back in the car again. I'm going to tell you where I'm going this time. So tonight, Briley has plans to go to a hockey game. That has been in the works now for a while. And I promised her that I would take her. Um, okay, let's do a little, little. I, don't, I wouldn't say story time, but let's do a little recap on what's been going on. We have been looking really hard for Briley a car. Um, trying to find one that we feel good about, reliable, and used, of course, not a new one. But we're just having a hard time. I'm finding things that I'm like, oh yeah, that would be perfect. But then they got like 200,000 miles on them. And that's been my biggest drawback because I don't want to put a ton of money into it because if I do that, I might as well buy her a new car considering it's used. And then I'm having a hard time swallowing the fact that these cars that they're wanting all this money for. We found her a cute little car, but the one she wanted, it had, over, it had almost 200,000 miles on it. I just can't do that. Um, I found her a little BMW that I thought was really cute, but then I'm thinking, is the maintenance going to be insane on it? My plan was to go Toyota or Honda. Those are my two favorite brands. I feel like, you know, you can drive them to the wheels fall off, and I think those would be good cars. Plus, we know um, people that work at both dealerships for service and things like that that we trust, and that's kind of why I wanted to go with that brand. And I'm just having a hard time finding what we're looking and what she wants. She's not picky. I think it's me being more picky than anything. I found, like I said, a little BMW, super, super cute. It didn't have too many terrible miles on it, but whew, I'm funny about not buying from a dealership. And I think that's because every time I bought from like a buy here, pay here or something like that, they end up turning out to be just garbage. And there's always some hidden thing wrong with them that was not told to you and then before you know it you're dumping money into it and I know anytime you buy used that can happen but not always so I'm trying to be super patient until we find the car our goal is to have her one for her birthday 
that's what I want to do. Will it happen? I don't know because we've been now looking for like three months straight. I mean, just going on the weekend, especially like on Sundays, just to kind of look around to get an idea for what she wants, what she likes. And I'm just having a really hard time. But we know our budget and our budget is not big enough to get exactly what I want. And I think that's the problem. Briley has saved up her own money to put down towards a car. And I told her, whatever she gives, I'm gonna give the same amount. And then she will have a car payment, but the goal is to have that car payment under $200 a month because she's gonna be babysitting Aspen and then she can use that money to make her car payment. So we're working it out. It's just a matter of finding the car that fits in the budget. And that's been by far the hardest thing to do because it's like everything we find is just not what I feel good putting that kind of money into. And the mileage is what's really just stinking at the moment because everything's so many miles. I did find her a super cute Toyota Corolla. Um, I liked it and the mileage to me wasn't horrible, but I mean, it still was like 162,000 miles. That just, I don't know, it's hard to swallow. But you know, they say like Toyotas and Hondas, they run, they, some of them can run to like 500,000 miles. Will it? I don't know. She'll probably get rid of it before then. But we're still on the hunt for her car. And I'm really hoping to have her one by her birthday. That's my plan. That's our goal. But we got to find one. And I told her, I said, look, and if it doesn't happen by your birthday, don't be discouraged. And we will get you a car. Because I'm really trying hard to buy from um, our friend that works at the dealership that we buy all of our cars from. But he's like, nothing's came in to where he was like, yeah, that's a good one. You better jump on it. We found her a little Volkswagen Jetta. We were almost gonna go last Saturday and buy it, if it drove good. Then we started reading how, you know, it's hard to find people to work on Volkswagens. And, you know, sometimes they're not the most reliable cars. So I was like, well, I don't wanna put money into it if it ain't gonna be a good car. You know, it's just hard. It's, I mean, if I was gonna go buy her a brand new one, it'd be no issue. But I know what our budget is, and our budget's going to allow for her to give her portion, me to give mine. She should have under a $200 car payment, because she won't be financing very much at all. Lots to do, lots to think about, and um, hopefully we'll get it all figured out before her birthday. And if we don't, we don't. It's okay. But back to the original story. I'm taking Briley to the game tonight. Barry's going to be home to watch Aiden. I'm going to take her to the game. And Liza's supposed to be going with her to this game. So I've got, I'm going to run now and go pick up Liza. Briley's going to stay here with Aiden. He's just resting and doing his thing in his room. So I'm going to go grab her. And then once I get here, I'm going to grab Briley and we're going to head to the game. That is the plan, you guys. All this rambling just to tell you that. But I did want to mention the car situation because I am super excited for her. I know she's excited just when we can find one. I get it. But, um, yeah, I'm excited for her to finally have her own car. Then she can go and run her own errands and do her own thing. And, of course, I don't mind going with her because I love going to the games. But normally we all go as a family. So, tonight's going to feel a little different because Barry's not going to be able to go. And Aiden, of course, can't go. It'll just be me and the girls. But it's fine. It's fine. But she's like, Mom, I really want my own car so I can drive up there. So, wish us luck on finding Briley a car because that is my main goal right now and I've been doing it like looking for cars so much I'm just I'm just over it almost but I'm not gonna stop until we find her the right car all right we officially have Liza I was gonna vlog you when we got in the, when you got in the car yeah. but I was on the phone with Briley and we talked to Briley the whole way home yeah. then some truck was broke down in the middle of the road yeah um they had to push it to the side of the road then they left him there they did like these two young guys got out of a truck this okay this truck pulls out and he's blocking both lanes mm -hmm. this other truck came up like in front of me stop two boys got out pushed him over in the lane get in their truck they leave and he's just sitting there stuck with flashers on driveway. yeah they went home they said bye and then two cars from behind the guy that was stuck and just sat there like what's he doing they had to wait to go around him it was a mess mm. it was a mess but we're here i just gave aiden some more tylenol he he's taking a nap he's still sleeping and he honestly still still feels really hot to me i'm just gonna be honest so um hopefully his fever will break soon, but I'm thinking he might have one all night because, you know, at night it gets worse. It was down earlier a little bit. Briley, I'm you took... Sure. No one ate him. He'll wake up I hope so. Oh he took... Or you took his temperature while I was going. What was it? Um, Orally? Orally was 99.1. Okay. Yeah. Um, like, temperature on his head was 98.3. 3, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, it might have been 98.6. Feeling him right now... 
He's very hot again. Well, he's under a cover soon. Yeah, and that's true. And he's had covers the whole time like this. Yeah, he has, but he's probably got yeah. chills. And, well, yeah, you and, know how it feels. And you know when you lay down, like, he lays on the side mm -hmm. and he turns and he yeah. turns, like, getting in hot or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't taken it, and he's so tired. I just gave him some Tylenol or and Motrin, let him rest. But I do need, um, I need to get some fluids in him because he's not drank hardly anything. I would say he could eat some, like, soup, too, because he hasn't eaten anything. Well, he probably don't have an appetite, well, but he needs to drink his fluids. I'm about to go upstairs and make him drink a little bit of that drink. Too, yeah, to that. I'm yeah, sure. Me a bad idea. Let me see if I can get him to eat. Dad's on the well. Dad's on the way home, and then once he gets here, we'll leave. But I'm gonna see if I can get him to drink something. Mm -hmm. Just took his temperature. <coughs> Will you stop? <laughs> and she broke it. <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> Okay. That's me. He told me that was me. The I still haven't yeah. got a face. He still hasn't gotten a picture of my face to put on there. I swear. <laughs> okay, so Aiden's feeling, a, I'd say, a little better. He's starting to drink a little something. That is just wetness from his washcloth laying on his pillow. So, But um, it is, Briley. It is. It is. But anyway, um, he just had more medicine, and now he's going to rest. Okay? And if you want anything to eat, you can have something to eat later. But his temperature right now has gone down to 100.9, so we're making progress. I love you. If you need anything, Daddy is home. He will help you, okay? And we'll be back very shortly. Made it to the game and we were stuck in like traffic didn't even film it but we, there was a bad accident like four cars yeah. and um we made it though made it finally to the game Woo -hoo! but that took us what an extra 15 minutes yeah yeah, yeah. Longer than it's okay that we're here now and we're here to watch the game Stop and talk about 
up for me though. Okay. If you go, I'll probably get something. Okay. <laughs> but obviously, okay. if you're not gonna go, then I'll see something home. But we're gonna take Lago home, then go get dinner, and then go home ourselves because I'm still tired. I went to bed early last night, but then woke up at 7:30 this morning, so I'm still just exhausted. I don't even know if you guys can see me right now, but me and Riley stopped off at Taco Bell because I was hungry. She was kind of a little hungry. She goes, I think I should eat popcorn at home. And then I said, well, I'm going to stop at Taco Bell. She goes, well, if you're going to stop at Taco Bell, I'll get something. So she did. What'd you get? A cheesy Okay. And Riley was just saying she's got to catch up on her sleep. She has got to. I said, well, you know what? Tomorrow, there's not a lot going on. I was like, so why don't you just sleep in tomorrow? Aiden is, um doing better. Barry gave him some more medicine, but I'm pretty sure tomorrow's going to be another day of him just resting because I think, he, I don't know if he's broke his fever since I've been gone and I'm going to find out when I get home and if it hasn't, then I'm pretty sure it's going to be a long night for me because I mean, I'm sure he'll be up all night, but then again, he may not, but as a mom, I'm, I'm going to want to check on him to make sure he's doing good and make sure he's still drinking his fluids and all that. But we're still, like I said, rotating the Tylenol and the Motrin. The last time he got medicine, he got Motrin. So the next one will be Tylenol. But yeah, we're almost home. Almost home. Those lights are pretty. You see them? And then we can eat and hopefully get a little bit of rest tonight. 